What's up everybody, this is Jay and this video is about stars is still in power. Okay, 50 Cent just signed a new deal with stars to keep power around for additional seasons and extend the deal. Vote above and let me know if you think 50 should have stayed with stars or left to another network that may appreciate it more. Now, um, when we look at it, 50 Cent, he had just put out some tweets and some things on Instagram uh, talking about Chris Albright and the deal that he inked with Stars, saying, I just got off with Chris Albright, head of Stars. New deal, more power coming your way, end quote. And a photo of both of them, and it, he put in there the same thing. And it may be coming out also in the spring instead of the summer. He also earned a deal for his upcoming projects. He got three upcoming shows that he also aimed to deal with, with stars, so that they could be released with stars. Um, it's a show called Tomorrow Today, I Got Away, and a series highlighting the infamous Black Mafia family known as BMF. Now, uh, it's a good thing that 50, he, when he said that he signed with them, one thing he said is that he's so hyped, he even put stars on his forehead, get it tattooed on his head. And also, uh, he had spoke about uh, stars' lack of respect and promotion for his show earlier. And so he attempted to pull it from stars and the network. But... With the new deal, it's doubtful that it happened because now he said he got so much money, his hand was shaking. Okay, he said he didn't even know they had so much money. So as you see, it looked like 50 going to be rolling in the dough for years to come. Um, the one thing that is good about that show is that, um, you know, Courtney Kemp and everybody is getting paid. 50 Cent and everybody's getting paid. The show is the number one rated show on the network's history. Um, everything is looking good. They allowed him to bring out three new shows. Um, and, uh, the three new shows will help expand his brand. Um, the only thing is to make sure Courtney Kemp, she got them big ass choppers in her mouth, man. You know she was ready to sink her teeth into that new deal real quick. Um, but the thing with that is, I hope they take care of the actors because they're the true key, especially Ghost and Tommy. Without Ghost and Tommy, it's no show. They got the biggest fan base. They're the number one reason why people watch the show. If something was to happen with either one of them where they were to leave the show, the show is pretty much over with. So I hope that they take care of Ghost and Tommy, make sure that they get paid, make sure that they're happy, keep the show going, uh, because without them, it's key. Uh, Ghost and Tommy were pretty much two unknown actors for the most part when they first signed with the show. And the Ghost is uh, Omari Hardwick and Tommy is uh, Joseph Sikora. And uh, they really didn't have huge success until they came to this show. And uh, they pretty much blown up. Okay, they pretty much made this show a hit. They have huge fan bases and they're great actors to come from nowhere. I guess they kind of took care of uh, Omari Harwick because they gave him a big picture to hang on his wall with the other one. So maybe he's happy with that. I don't know. But they need to drop him some millions. Because uh, Omari Harwick, for those that don't know, he's had a hard time making it to where he is in Hollywood. He just didn't come straight to success. Uh or for those that don't know, Omari Hardwick, he's from Decatur, Georgia. He's from the 30 South. Uh, he grew up where sports was his world, actually. He played a lot of sports growing up, um, but he always had a passion for the arts and began writing poetry when he was 14 years old. In high school, he excelled at basketball, baseball, and even football as well. He played football so well in high school they won the, the state championship and he ended up playing for the University of Georgia. Now he was pretty good on the field in football and uh, while he was playing football he minored in theater. After graduation he landed a spot on the San Diego Chargers NFL football team but he had a knee injury and that's what cut his career short. 
he moved to New York and then he wanted to pursue acting because that was always his passion and he studied off Broadway up until the year 2000 um, and he decided then that he wanted to move to LA but he struggled so he worked as, he struggled as an actor so he had to work odd jobs to pay for acting classes and things like that which happens with a lot of actors um, but he was working like security gigs and substitute teaching jobs and things like that. But it wasn't always easy to make ends meet. So what he ended up having to do at one point was live out of his car. Yes, people, he was homeless at one point. So he hasn't had an easy road. And uh, while he was uh, homeless and things... He, he continued to follow his passion. Uh, he lived out of his car, and then he finally started getting gigs and, and getting his break around 2003. Um, it was funny that he was filming a series called Dark Blue, and uh, that location is uh, right around where he was living out of his car, he said in one interview. And so it always kind of was kind of surreal to him that he was filming and starring a TV show where he used to live out of his car. Um, he always continued to write poetry, um, and he says he has over 4,000 poems that he's written. Um, he's an alpha from Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, and uh, also he's, he started his own production company in 2010 called Brave Life, and he got a big uh, plans on expanding it. Also, he's been married since 2012 to his wife, Jennifer, and so uh, they've been trying to you know, continued in marriage. He's a married man. His career is taken off, and uh, he's well deserving of all the uh, success and praise that he's had. He's had a hard road that he's traveled, and uh, I wish him nothing but the best. And uh, he's had problems with people criticizing his wife online, and I think that's mainly because people have gotten attached to him in the show and think the show may be real with him and Angie, unfortunately. As far as Joseph Sakura, aka Tommy, uh, he's had a rough road as well. Uh, he's actually from Chicago, born and raised, and uh, he's from the far north side of Chicago. He studied acting at the Pivot Theater Workshop in Evanston, Illinois, and he also went to Columbia College, Chicago, which is actually where I went to school myself. Uh, he received his uh, BA degree in theater. And he's been nominated for a Joseph Jefferson Award for Theater in Chicago and received an Ovation Award for Theater in L.A. And ladies, one good thing that you'd like to know is Tommy's not married. Now, as far as 50 Cent goes with power, everyone that follows the show knows that he's been upset and had a beef with the network, mainly because even though the show has been on this summer and main competition, with Game of Thrones, it's had huge ratings. And uh, because of he feels lack of promotion from the network, it hasn't had any Emmy nominations or so much as the consideration ad for the Emmys. And so that kind of upset 50 and he felt maybe he should take this show to another network that maybe appreciated more or knows how to promote their shows better or whatever the case. But what actually happened is 50 went there for negotiations with them and they gave him so much money and then opportunity to create three new shows and with that opportunity he of course signed on the dotted line being the shrewd businessman that he is and now he has three new shows coming out on stars as well as power continuing to stay on the network so 50 has been upset and had minor beefs with the network but all in all they were able to come to a resolution although some people say he leaked it he says he leaked it and some people say he didn't leak the episodes regardless of all of that they came to a resolution where they signed the deal extended power for more seasons and gave him three new shows three new shows tomorrow today i got away in a series highlighting the black mafia family bmf now, BMF, the Black Mafia family, is actually a true story. It's about a group of people in uh, Detroit that were selling drugs and different things, and it actually is a true story. Uh, and also, the show Tomorrow Today, believe it or not, is about a black superhero. 
Okay, I guess he realizes how much money these superhero movies make, and being the shrewd businessman that he is, he decided to come up with a black superhero TV show. Now, he's probably seen how much money and popularity the TV show created by Marvel, Luke Cage, has created, and so he's not a, a idiot. He's been a great business mind from everything from vitamin water to music to TV shows, and so creating another black superhero TV show that he could eventually branch off into a movie would be an excellent idea, and I believe 50 could actually make this work. I have to give him credit. So far, he's been successful. Uh, now, tomorrow, today is going to be the first project in development with 50 and G Unit Film and TV production. Uh, it's going to be based on a screenplay written by 50, who will executive produce the project and continue to serve as an executive producer on Power as well. The project is very personal to him. He's quoted and creating it, writing it, finding it, finding the best team for it. And I will continue to be involved every step of the way. And I knew stars would be the perfect home for tomorrow today, end quote. Probably because they backed that truck up full of money. So, of course, that's the perfect home. But nevertheless, tomorrow today is going to be about a superhero themed series about a vet from the south side of Chicago who, after being falsely in prison, becomes the personal experiment of a deranged prison doctor trying to create the perfect man and unstoppable killing machine. So, of course, Chicago would be the perfect place for that. How many people we know has got an unstoppable killing machine in Chicago? And, of course, all men in Chicago are perfect. So, of course, that makes sense. Now, he was eventually set free or escaped and while on the run, he's going to have to reconcile with the world that has turned against him and as well use his new abilities for good. BMF will tell the true story of how the Black Mafia family became the BMF, the notorious drug cartel created in Detroit in the late 80s by Demetrius, a.k.a. Big Meech, and Terry Flinnery. Over a decade, their organization grew into a hugely successful nationwide enterprise as they began to use their money from the drug game to branch out into different businesses. One was a rap label called BMF Entertainment. They promoted artists and their careers and some actually became famous and well known, such as Young Jeezy. Now. Uh, some people may have heard of BMF or Big Meech from some of the popular shows that have came out about cocaine cowboys and different things. And also Rick Ross had a song where he was saying, uh, I think I'm Big Meech or whatever the case. And uh, we all know Rick Ross likes to glorify drug dealers and, and criminals that he never could or would be. And he, he we all know he was an actual corrections officer. Nevertheless... 50 Cent, he has a lot going on. Um, they don't have much about the uh, show, I Got Away. I looked to try to find out a little bit about the show. Wasn't able to find too much about it. Uh, but I'm sure it will be interesting to see what that show is about as well. Uh, it seems as if he's the number one content creator for stars right now. Uh, based on they don't really have a lot of original shows. Maybe four or five. And uh, his show is the number one show in the history of the Young Network. He also has a show coming out soon. Uh, September 28th on BET called 50 Central. Which is a late night variety show. Um, it's already signed up and they've already created 24 half hour episodes. So uh, it seems like 50 Cent is a very busy man. Uh, he's on the road to success. He's, he's been a hit in the television and film industry. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds. Hopefully he takes care of the actors on power. And not only do they have the extra seasons... They definitely need the extra episodes because 10 hours is not enough to tell this great story that they've created. Uh, and that's 10 one-hour episodes. They need at least an additional two to three more hours, two to three more episodes. And even make the season finale two hours would help. Uh, the, the last season finale, I'm a fan of the show, so I liked it. 
but they just had too much that they left on the table and they had too much that they had to try to tie in a, in one episode and and then they tried to introduce some things that really wasn't even necessary they could have just saved that till next season but all in all good look out for 50 and everybody on the cast of power wish them nothing but success in the future and I hope that uh, we can all as fans continue to enjoy the show that we all came to love Peace, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, and I'm out.